Uh, most Catholic parishes will celebrate the Ascension of our Lord on Sunday. It marks the return of Jesus to heaven 40 days after his resurrection on Easter. But how has the feast been depicted in art? And what can one painting teach us about the Ascension? We learn more now with Jem Sullivan, Associate Professor of Practice of Catechetics at the Catholic University of America and author of The Beauty of Faith. Jem, always so wonderful to see you. Uh, tell us, what does the church invite us to celebrate this coming Ascension Sunday? Thank you, Tracy, for having me. It's good to see you as well. After his resurrection, Jesus appears to the disciples several times. And in one appearance to Mary Magdalene, Jesus gives a preview of what is to come when he says to her, I have not yet ascended to my father, but go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my father and your father, to my God and your God. So now as Jesus ascends to his heavenly father, he gives his disciples and us the assurance of his gift of the Holy Spirit, the love of the father and the son. And he opens again our path to friendship with God. Where Jesus goes, we are to follow. And so this is the good news that the church invites us to celebrate on Ascension Sunday. And Jim, tell us about this beautiful painting of the Ascension from the National Gallery of Art. Sure, Tracy. In this 15th century painting, we see the apostles looking up to heaven in awe and wonder. The gold background and the bright colors invite us into the scene. And kneeling with the apostles is the Blessed Virgin Mary, gently supported by John the Evangelist. And Mary raises her haloed head to heaven with her hands folded in prayer. Mary is teaching the church and us how to pray. And above them is a group of Old Testament witnesses, the prophets and kings of Israel figures who looked ahead for the coming of Jesus, the Messiah. And at the center of the scene is the triumphant figure of the risen Jesus, clothed in bright red robes. Jesus raises his right hand in a gesture of blessing, and he shows us his wounded side and the nail marks on his hands. In his left hand, Jesus holds a cross, the sign of his triumph over sin and death. And below him, we see his footprints left in the soil of the earth. The Son of God, who once walked the earth, now returns to his heavenly Father. Jim, what are some of the takeaways uh, from this masterpiece image of the ascension of Jesus? Jesus promises to be with us always, and his promise becomes a reality in the Eucharist, when Jesus is present in word and sacrament. Having revealed the full extent of his divine love, Jesus goes before us now to God, so that we may live now in the hope of being in the company of the Blessed Trinity, Mary, Mother of God, and the saints for all eternity. As the Catechism reminds us, having entered into the sanctuary of heaven, once and for all, Jesus intercedes for us and promises the gift of the Holy Spirit. And for this, we have much to celebrate on this Solemnity of Ascension Sunday. And Jim, before I let you go, um, tell us about your new book on sacred art and the Eucharist. Thank you, Tracy. The book is titled Way of Beauty, Rekindling Eucharistic Amazement Through Visio Divina. And it's an invitation to the reader to discover or rediscover a sense of Eucharistic amazement at the beauty and the power of the Mass through the beauty of sacred art. So there are 12 masterpieces of sacred art in the book. And with each painting, the reader will find the prayers of the Mass, passages from Scripture, and the Catechism of the Catholic Church, and a guided reflection on the painting. So the book can be a personal pilgrimage of beauty, if you will, that helps us see how Jesus' promise at his ascension to be with us, his disciples, to be with his disciples and with us, continues every day in the gift and mystery of the Eucharist. The book is a perfect companion for parents and families, for teachers and catechists, and for parish uh, study groups. And it's uh, available on Amazon and Our Sunday Visitor. Uh, it's titled Way of Beauty, Rekindling Eucharistic Amazement Through Visio Divina. Jim, congratulations on the book and thank you so much for coming on today. We appreciate it. God bless you. Thank you, Tracy.